This is a horoscope tarot reading for Gemini Love Life for the week of November 1st through November 7th, 2020. Let's get to it. What do we got for our Gemini? We start with the Four of Cups, the World Card, and the Three of Pentacles. It seems someone in your energy is feeling like they're missing an opportunity. This person is clearly torturing themselves over not having the clarity when they needed it. It's like their vibrational output was not calibrating to what the universe was given to them. This is all focused around some sort of collaborative endeavor, around something you wanted to build together. Let's clarify who's who. How is our Gemini feeling right now? We got the Judgment card, Scorpio energy. The Page of Swords, Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And the Emperor card, Aries energy. I feel this is more your person who is missing out because you're the one in your power. Your ideas are flowing at this time, going through a huge awakening. Well, you may have approached this person to join you on this journey, and perhaps the approach was a little juvenile and non-conventional in the way you carried it out. You were on the right path that was leading to abundance, and they judged you too harshly and that's why they're feeling remorseful now. It's clear they've come to that realization. But also now, the tables have turned and you are in the position of the judge. You have become the emperor, feeling a sense of clarity, stability and eagerness towards your future. How does our Gemini feel towards this person now? We got the Four of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Tower card. This person could very well be a Scorpio or another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or even a fire sign, predominantly an Aries. Whoever they are, you still feel you're the right person for them, but you may have approached them at the wrong time. So often, the right people come into our lives when we're not looking for them. And with the Four of Swords, you feel this person overlooked you. I feel you tried many things to get this connection going, and the only thing left to try now is to just hold back. And that's what I see you doing now. The Nine of Wands tells me this person put you through a tough time and left you feeling wounded and hurt. And it's interesting to see the Tower card following it because you truly feel this connection with this person is beyond repair. Is this connection between our Gemini and this person beyond repair? We got the Ten of Cups. The Knight of Cups. And the Page of Pentacles. This connection is still broadcasting with true happiness, emotional and spiritual fulfillment. There's an undeniable sense that everything is falling into place as it should. The Ten of Cups is a card of good luck and destiny, pure positive energy. There will be another proposal made, but please don't force this because there's an indication it'll be coming from you since you are in your power. But it has to be made at the right time without just purely jumping into it out of eagerness. 
The Knight of Cups represents a more mature vibrational alignment, whereas the Page of Pentacles represents a more immature vibrational alignment. So both of you will be coming back together. There's a strong magnetic pull between you, but you being represented by the Nine of Cups energy will have the leverage in the situation. Now, I'm not saying anything bad about your person. It's clear they are grounded, loyal, responsible, and dependable. But the momentum of your alignment will be much greater than your person's in that moment. And you will be more deliberate with what you want to create. Now, that will not always be the case, but when you come back to one another and to give them this connection another shot, you will be the inspirational force that moves this person into taking a positive action. I feel this reading tells us, right now you are a little pinched off from this person, but this closed off situation will not last forever. This person is already looking back at what has happened between you and regretting their choices. There is a reawakening taking place here. And you will have an idea that directs you to give this person another chance. It's just a matter of hatching that right idea. In the extended, we'll look deeper into how will our Gemini know when they have hatched the right idea in order to approach this person? What's stopping this person from coming towards our Gemini now? What would happen if our Gemini approaches this person before it's the right time? And we'll ask, what is a message for a Gemini's highest good? The link for the extent is down below. I wish you the best with your choices. Thank you for watching. And the King of Wands. This is a matter of attraction. You're coming into a time in your life when you have the power to manifest the outcome you want. The universe is aligning to bring positive changes your way. This person is watching you and it's exciting them. They're getting fired up. They will see you have forward movement and witness you reaching your goals. And they will get a confirmation of you achieving what you're applying to manifest with. And this will make them want to chime in and join you in what you're doing. It will be very apparent to you when it's time to approach this person because you will know what part you want them to play and they will show you that they're ready for it. They will rise to the occasion and signal you in some regard. And judging by the King of Wands energy, their part is going to be something fun. They're going to feel like it's an invite to come play. What's stopping this person from coming to play with our Gemini now? We got the Page of Cups. The Eight of Wands. And the Five of Cups.